what's up cuties so lads in this video we're gonna be talking about the brand new exclusive unit kyojiro rengoku this guy looks sick actually he's actually a very very good unit that if you don't have yet you should totally get because this guy is actually limited now i do have a second one and here's him uh, without the broken outfit by the ways so on a future stream we might be doing a giveaway for this especially if trading is added at some point in the game but that's not the point dude the point is we're gonna be talking about him specifically awakened rengoku and specifically how much damage he does and if he's a good unit or not and spoiler he's actually very good even though i have the marksman trade on him and some okay stats the stats are kind of okay he's still a very good unit you should absolutely get him so without further ado lads here's a quick shout out to my members now let's do this okay so here we are in game but before i actually play down rengoku i just wanted to show you guys this one of my members actually made managed to pull himself a shiny rengoku which looks incredible by the ways so blood's literally been running around with like amazing drip took him like 800 runs or something like that though we don't talk about the runs but anyways here is rengoku he has a placement cap of three units and he costs 1750 yen to place down 1750 yen 1750 yen however you pronounce it and he does 1.6k damage on placement now keep in mind that my rengoku is only level 44 could be a little bit higher but it's still pretty good plus the nice thing is unlike obito he gets burn on placement which is super nice so here's his passives flame breathing attacks inflicts burn damage equal to 30 percent of damage you guys knew that though but he also has unwavering focus increases damage by five percent on consecutive attacks done to the same enemy up to 20 percent quite cool so he could do a little bit more now i'm not sure if that stacks with the burn damage which would be very cool if it did but the more times that he attacks a specific enemy the more damage he'll do which is very cool. But upgrade one upgrades his damage to 2.34k. His SBA drops down to 7.1 seconds, which he is a little slow, but it's acceptable given uh, that uh, he does damage over time with a uh, burn. And his range goes up to 28.2 studs. Upgrade two, his damage goes up to 2.59k. His SBA stays the same, and he goes up to 30.9 studs. And it costs 3,100 yen in order to get this upgrade. Upgrade three is where things start getting fun, however. Upgrade three, his damage goes to 2.76k. His SBA drops down by a whole second roughly and his range goes up to 31.5 studs and he also gets the ability rising scorching sun this upgrade costs 5,000 yen and i believe his spa changes this upgrade costs 5,000 yen and i believe this changes his aoe yeah this changes it to cone aoe so upgrade four his damage goes up to 3.46k his spa goes to 6.6 and his range goes up to 32.2 studs this costs 6,100 yen. Starting to get a little bit pricier, but again, damage over time because of burn. But on upgrade five, his damage goes to 4.12k. His SPA goes to 6.1 seconds and his range goes to 34.9 studs. So in upgrade six, his damage goes up to 4.54k. His SPA stays at 6.1 seconds and his range goes up to 35.6 studs. He gains the ability Blazing Universe and it costs 7,400 yen. This also turns him into splash aoe or i guess mini circle aoe whatever you want to call it upgrade seven his damage goes to 5.02k his sba stays at 6.1 seconds and his range goes up to 36.9 studs it costs 8200 but upgrade eight is where things are really gonna start getting fun by the ways i don't know if i talked about it or not but his third passive requires us to get to upgrade 11 which we are getting very close to but his damage goes up to 6.07k his sba goes to 6.6 seconds and his range just jumps all the way up to 44.3 studs that's a big jump in range he does get the ability called scorching spirals and it costs 9,000. as you can see here uh the other circle that's what he's going to now unfortunately he does go back to line aoe but that's really not a problem since again burn damage proper placement you should be good so upgrade nine his damage goes to 6.51k his spa goes to 6.1 seconds and his range goes up to 47 studs costs 10.4 thousand studs so it's it's a, it's a bit expensive now but just just hear me out it's it, it's pretty good upgrade 10 brings his damage up to 7.5k his spa does stay the exact same but he does get a slight range increase and upgrade 11 the if not the final upgrade then one of his last ones definitely his damage goes up to 8.74k his spa jumps up by a full second making him a little bit slower but he does gain an extra stud of range and he also gets the ability called ninth 
four. This price is a little bit strange, 12,119 yen, but this does give you his third passive ability, which is Purgatory Unleashed. Increases burn damage to 50% of damage. Enemies hit by attacks are inflicted with Purgatory Flames, making them receive plus 25 burn damage. So if I'm correct, and I'm reading this right, this is 50% of damage on top of 25% burn damage. So it's an extra bit of damage, which is quite nice. Upgrade 12 brings his damage up to 9.89k. His SPA goes to 6.6 .6 seconds, but his range stays the exact same, which by the way is on upgrade 11. He went to a big old splash AOE, which is quite nice. So upgrade 12, and that is his max. 9.89k, 6.6 .6 seconds of SPA, and 48.3 studs for his range. Now I said it at the beginning of the actual showcase, but this guy isn't actually level 50 yet, so his damage could definitely be above 10k. And with some better stats, although his stats are okay, A, B, and C is not horrible. But I mean, hey, it could be so much better. Hey, hey, just jumping in here real quick to say that if you're enjoying the video, then make sure to not only like it, but also subscribe for more. Currently, I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers before the year 2024 ends, so all support is appreciated. Thank you. All right, let's continue. All right, let's get the other two Rengokus placed down and completely maxed. And then we'll also place down Haruka Rin uh, a moment after that or something like that, just to kind of show off how much damage these Rengokus can do. So again, these guys do just under 10k with the initial hit, but they do about 50 percent of extra damage so about 5k every tick afterwards give or take maybe so uh it, it does a lot and also what's really nice is burn is infinitely stackable so the more burn units you have the more damage these guys will actually do so now that all three rangokus are placed down and max we're gonna go ahead and place down a haruka rin get her maxed so we can show off how much damage uh these guys do with the haruka rin buff and then afterwards we're actually gonna pull in obito and do a run with obito just because obito also does burn damage and can stack on top of that so I'm going to show you guys the damage of both Obito and Rengoku. So let's stick around. Okay, it's wave 32 now. So Haruka Rin should have her buff uh, all the way up, I believe. Roughly, give or take. Maybe a few. We might be able to do a few more. But here's the Rengoku with the maxed out Haruka Rin buff. 11.38k. There it is. 10k. So just to refresh, these guys are doing roughly about 5.05 or 5.5 thousand damage per tick of burn damage. It's a lot of damage, and then multiply that by three. Obviously, you have like 15,000, 16,000, 16.5 thousand roughly. So burn go crazy. But we can do better. Okay, so I'm going to get one Rengoku fully upgraded, and I'm going to place down one of the Obitos. We'll place them down like maybe right about here. Just because bro... Well, actually, no. I think I'm going to move them over here, like roughly where uh, in parallel where Rengoku is. Then I'm going to max out one of these guys. Okay, there we go. Flame Twisters. So this guy buffs burn damage, and this guy also causes burn damage. Based on that, uh, I Idea, these guys should be getting absolutely flippin' melted by the burn damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. You might want to place the Rengokus like in front of the Obitos so that way they can, uh, so that way the Obitos can like attack and then the Rengokus can like buff. So attacks inflict burn equal to 30% of damage. That was the Obito. We already covered that in the Obito video. So 30% of 16.55 and this is 50% of 9.895. Although I'm not sure why the, oh wait, that's right. This guy is, okay, is max. Oh wait, I guess it's, I guess I didn't lie. I guess I learned something new about Haruka Rin in that case. Maybe. Hmm. This guy was previously uh like 11k or something. I wonder why this guy's not like at 11k or something. Interesting. But yeah, no, serious. Obito and Rengoku. Both of them are a great pair together. So if you're looking for some really good units, then both Obito and Rengoku are really good units to get. But even if you don't want to get Obito, definitely go for Rengoku. He's limited and he does a lot of burn damage. By the way, if you haven't checked out my Tengen character overview yet, then make sure to go check it out by clicking on it right here. Tengen is a really good unit, so definitely get him if you need a strong mythical damage unit. So go learn about him by clicking on it right here. Dismissed. 